Hello, friends, and welcome back to the Hood Rat Podcast and the Code Comic Show. This is my boy Space, and um, my name is Hood, and we collaborate with Go Collect every week to look at their top 100 uh, list, and we look at books that went from top to not, and maybe some books you may have forgotten in your uh, comic book freezer. But in general, we're just here to help you find deals in a comic book world for the deals, right, bro? That's right. That's right. Find find the good ones, man. Yeah, man. It's just uh, it's it's a buyer's market. We've been preaching this for the last. Uh, I think we're on our 18th episode, right? <laughs> yeah, I think I think so. Yeah, last last you know three four months we're coming up on. So yeah, for sure. And it continues to be a buyer's market, but no matter what, right? Buyer's market or not, um, how do we keep it, bro? Yeah, no no matter where the deals are, we keep it cool, baby. We keep it cool, baby. All right, friends. So the first book up we have is the classic. It's a classic now, right, bro? It's a classic yeah, it's, modern it's, book. Yeah, it's over twenty-five years, dude. It's a it's classic. A, it's a vintage. It's a vintage. <laughs> yeah, classic. That's, that's right. <laughs> um, and uh, we are uh, lucky enough to have it on our um, our code list uh, this week. And uh, you rarely see this books on the code list because um, you know we have all these rumors coming out um, about mm-hmm. you know, Deadpool three and. Wolverine and mm-hmm. Taylor Swift and all that other stuff. So all these things are interconnected and we find ourselves reviewing uh new mutants 98. Uh, this book was, uh, is currently at number 18. It's down 15 spots, 15 spots from number three. Um, but I think it's going to go up, bro. Cause I saw Taylor Swift maybe three or four times during the chiefs game in the playoffs. Did, did yeah, you, dude. Yeah. It won't, it won't stay at 18 for long. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> No, it's not going to stay there for long. Um, but that's a big drop. That's a pretty, uh, you know, steep drop of uh, 15 spots. So we had to put it here um, yeah. on the um, on on our our coach. Even though it is still a hot book, but eight but drop it 15 spots. That's that's a, that's um that's that's pretty deep, man. That's pretty deep. Yeah, yeah. Um, for this book for sure. <laughs> so this is the uh, first appearance of your uh, favorite anti-hero, your swearing hero, and everything <laughs> else hero, Deadpool um copycat shows up on uh, in this book as well but that is uh actually domino then we had the first appearance of gideon this book was published in uh february 10th of 1991 this book was uh written by uh rob lightfield and uh fabian mm-hmm. nasiza um but the art was done by rob uh, lightfield but mm-hmm. uh everybody everybody agrees that this is a rob lightfield book right this is his um Definitely. his master's course on, yes. uh, on comics yeah. and what he's known for and what he's been living off for the last 30 years since it was created, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this for sure. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, even, even um, what was that other, I forgot what that new comic book that came out, but that was even like just a, another Deadpool, you know, like- uh, Yeah, the, the Major X one? Major X, yeah. Yeah, dude. It was just an updated 20, you know, 2020 yeah. Deadpool. Yeah. I mean, it was sorry, a re- Rob. Re- refresh, refresh of the Deadpool idea. And I'm sorry oh. I didn't read that because uh, I, I didn't find I didn't find it interesting. So yeah. uh, I was like, ah, nah, I'm good. Uh, cool. But if you have, let us know in the comments. We're not trying to yeah. we're not trying yeah, to bang on you, Rob. It's yeah, just, not uh, at all. No, you know, um, we 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 know how hard it is to to draw feet. So you know, I mean, we we, we can't <laughs> we can't do it ourselves. But yeah, um, what what we can do is we can check out how it's doing over there on CGC and uh, and, and go collect. All right, friends. So here we go with the first book and a uh, repeat offender that we had on like a few weeks ago, right, bro? Like yeah, a, just a few weeks back. Yep. A few weeks back. Um, and I think this is going to be hopefully a repeat offender. I don't mind talking about this book. It's, it's a cool book. <laughs> yeah. You know, so um, for Universals, we have 24,118 um, graded. We have 4,046 signed by Rob Liefeld. Um, there, there are about 80 of these on the uh, purple label of death. Um, mm-hmm. And then we have one 10 on a census that's never mm-hmm. uh, sold, you know, one never. 10 mint, yep. never sold. Uh, 9.9, we have 12 on the census. Um, and the last one sold for 40,000 bucks. Wow. Jeez, dude. That's not bad. That's not bad yeah. for a 90s book, you know? Not so, at all. <laughs> it's like, wow. 40 grand? You know? Damn. For a yep. 90s book? 
geez, this is this must be the 90s book of all time. Uh, yeah. uh, it's like, wow. Uh-huh. Um, 9.8, we have 4,000 of these, 4,255. Um, the FMV on that is 1,350. Um, let me see here. The one-year moving average is uh, 1,465, and 30 day is 1,258. So it's staying steady. Yeah. Um, 9.6 is 550. Um, and that's what I have. I have a 9.6. What do you got, bro, in this one? Nice. I I, I have a – mine's raw. I don't have one okay, graded, raw. But, but mine's a newsstand. It'll probably be like around an 8.5 or a 9.0, I think. Yeah, mine's around nine. Yeah, mine's a nine six. I was only I only have one. I only came across one, you know, for a yeah. you know cheap price. So Same that's why I only have one. Um, it's a hard book to find, you know. So definitely um, now. Before it was plentiful. I remember I, when I was a kid, I had like four of these, and I just gave a couple to my right? friends. I was like, "Here you go. Yeah, you you like new mutants. New you like new mutants. Here you go." <laughs> oh, like, yeah, man. Stupid me, those, bro. Stupid me. <laughs> 550 for um, on the FMP for that 96. Um, we go um, for the 30 day moving average is 520, so that's staying steady. Nine fours, um, there's 4,265 of these. The FMV is 400 bucks. 30 day moving average is 349. And let's see if we can get a deal on a 9.2. And this is where the deal is, right? Mm-hmm. Um, FMV on a 9, 9.2 is uh, $375, and mm-hmm. the 30 day moving, moving average is about 288. So yeah. I would hunt that one down, that 9.2, mm-hmm. you know, that 9.2. Yeah. Um, but if you look at the 90-day moving average, it's at 350, but it looks like, you know, some are selling pretty, you know, for a decent price that you can uh, yeah. probably snatch up. Um, and as you go trying, down, yeah. I, thought, I was going to say, I think people are trying to offload them, you know, because uh, they're, they're, people are wishy-washy back and forth about what's happening with the movie and everything like that. So they're like, yeah, we'll just get rid of them. There's enough of them. We can get another one if we need it. I mean, Marvel's hoping. Marvel's hoping this would be like their, uh, you know, a hit that they haven't had in a long time. Yeah. Because uh, I mean, I watch Echo Man, and I couldn't get past the second episode. I'm sorry. I, I, I'll, I'll watch it um, later when I have time. But gotcha. It wasn't getting me, man, past the second episode. I'm not trying to give it away, but uh, kill me in the comments or agree with me in the comments. You know, leave it there. <laughs> um, the Nino was. Uh, um, we have uh, 1,900 of these on the census. FMV is 350, and the 30-day moving average is 330. So I'm, almost, I'm sticking with the 9.2 as uh, the book to get. What do you think? I think, yeah, that's a sweet spot, especially if you look at, like, you know, a 9.0 versus a 9.2 with the 30-day yeah. average. It, you know, it's it's cheaper. It's You're going 50 mm-hmm. bucks cheaper to get a higher grade. Yeah, that's, that's the sweet spot. You want to look for that 9.2 to 9.4. You might even be able to con a nine four. It you know someone's got one of those into giving it away cheaper than that. But nine two, yep, dead on. Yeah, but let's check out and see what's going over there on uh, eBay for the most recent sales. All right, friends. So here we go with um, uh, what we got here on eBay. Um, so the most recent sales on eBay. I don't have a date there, but I'm thinking January fourteenth um, yeah. because there's all around January fourteenth. We have a nine two that went for four thirty five. So. That kind of that kind of uh, that that doesn't mix for uh, you know what we have what we had a uh, what we told you guys was probably the best deal. So someone you know mm-hmm. this was on six bids at four thirty five. Let's yeah. continue on, right? Um, yeah. So no, uh, oh, I put in a facsimile. If you want a facsimile oh. for a nine six, you can get that for twenty seven bucks. You can get it right? cheap enough, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a facsimile. That's a facsimile. So don't don't be go looking for facsimiles and blame me. You know. <laughs> but uh, near, near near mid plus on a nine point six. I don't know about that one, right? Yeah, I don't uh, know. But check this out, man. Nine eight <laughs> newsstand went for three thousand bucks, right? Damn. Three thousand bucks on forty three bids. Uh, that was on uh, January two thousand fourteen. Then we have another nine six. Um, that's uh, a real nine six, a direct edition. Yeah. Um, it went uh, probably for five hundred bucks. I'm saying. Yeah, thinking, right? that, I think I think you're dead on there. Then on uh, January fifteenth for the raws and the you know the raws are still staying above three uh, around three hundred and above. Mm-hmm. Um, on January fifteenth the raw f- sold for thir- three twenty eight on eighteen bids. January fourteenth another one a high grade quote unquote new stand oh new stand all right uh, went for four for four thirty six mm-hmm. um, and then another uh, book on January fourteenth went for two ninety five on fifty one bids. And then on January 14th, another book went for three hundred dollars. Um, is there a Mark hmm. Jewelers in this? There is a Mark Jewelers, right? There, there is yeah. a Mark Jewelers in this one, yeah, too. But I've never seen one in person. Uh, but I think they're they're fairly rare because I think it was the end of the Mark Jewelers era. Yeah, yeah. So um, Mark Jewelers would be like, um, you know, like one of the uh, the oddball ones to find. You know, that you can mm. 
you know, that you can uh, probably make, you know, a couple extra extra dollars on if you if you were able to find that yeah. one. Yeah, definitely. So, you know, I would I would check your books for those Mark Jewelers, man, because I bet a, people have them. They don't even know that they got them, you know? So. Yeah, 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 for sure. All right. So, hey, guys. How's what the boy? heck? What the hell? Oh, space? Who's this? What? Who's this? Who's, <laughs> who's this guy? <laughs> we got a special guest on and you didn't even tell me, bro? Hey, you know, like to surprise you. I know. I got to bring my uncle, uh, my uncle uh, F on. This is Past Point Comics guy. He's going to join us for the rest of the show and he's going to present his book, the second book of the show. Go ahead, man. Guys, it is freezing over here. I have to put on my hoodie, man. So I'm on the <laughs> right show. So this choice, <laughs> when you guys picked this one, I said, Batman, I had never read this book. This is a, a great cover by Todd McFarlane. I just read the book yesterday. It's a really good one issue series, you know, just like talks about Batman, how he helps the common man, so to speak, you know, it's like three short stories within a book. So this one has dipped though. It started, it has dipped 15 spots. It was at 42 and now it's at 57. Wow. That's a big drop, you know? Mm -hmm. so, big drop. Yeah. yeah. So, but I, I love this cover. I wish I had this cover. It's an iconic cover by Todd McFarlane. No, the triangles, man. It's a, it's a yep. Tom McFarlane straight line triangles. Yeah, you know, like yeah, yeah. And he'll even tell you, like, it's just a bunch of triangles. You know, like yeah. mm -hmm. I, I, I heard him say it, like, uh, at a, at a comic con that someone had, was signing this book, and he was like, "Here we go. That's that's my triangle book." So <laughs> it's an awesome looking book, but how can he not trip over that cape? Come on, that's too big. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Seriously, yeah. I, I've I've never seen Batman's cape that big in my life, but it is yeah. it is pretty rad looking. So, yeah, you gotta awesome. love it, man. You know, like it's a horror book and um, a superhero book all in one. It looks like oh, in there, right? Mm -hmm. If yep. you didn't, if you didn't have Batman over this, you'd you would think it was a horror book, right? Like, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Uh -huh. I had, like I said, I had never read the storyline, and I thought, wait a minute, I thought it was a horror story, but then I read the actual book. Like I said, I read it yesterday, and it's a really good short story. You know about Batman, you know, like how he helps the common man. I highly recommend reading this book. Yeah, this is a great this is a great read actually too. It's an awesome cover and an awesome read, and you don't usually get that. You usually get one or the other, right? Yep. So now you guys got me <laughs> wanting to read mine. I haven't read read mine. I have this book. I've never read it. So uh, let me. Um, where do you go? There he, there he is. There he is, we're, man. My birds were making too much noise, so I had to shut the door. <laughs> so. Oh no worries, man. <laughs> well, what do you think about uh, checking out CGC and um, and everything else on on yeah. GoClick? Yeah, let's do that. Oh. This is Batman 423. It's a, like I said, it's a classic Todd McFarlane cover. The artists are Adrian Roy, Todd McFarlane, David Cockrum, and Joe John Costanza, published by DC Comics, um, written by Jim Starlin. Um, publication was in September 10th of 1988, and the dang cover price was only 75 cents back then. Gosh, I wish prices were that were like that yeah. again. Every time we see those prices, man, we me and me and a uh, space flip. We're like, eh. I know, like, right. man, I wish that. <laughs> when you guys get these books, what do you do first? Do you smell the books? The old time musty smell of comic books. I love the old smell of comic books. It was obviously a different type of paper. I always put in a new um, uh, bag and board, so of course yeah. I'm going to smell it. You know, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, that's exactly what I do too. Right, I, I smell it on the way putting it in that new bag and board, and then I read it and put it away. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at CGC Universal here, uh, the census, so to speak. The 9.8, it's a census of a 282, sales of 181, fair market value, wow, it's $2,250. And the one-year average is 2,262, and the 30-day is 2,278. That's still a lot of money for this book, you know, but I know yeah. it's dipped in price, you know. And uh, let me see here for wow, man, it's such a big difference between a 9.8 and 9.6. Dang it, yeah. just the census is 693, and the first, uh, the fair market value is only $500. That's crazy. You know, I would crack that book if I had it and press it and clean it and see if I could get up to a 9.8, to be honest with you. Yeah, for yeah. sure. That's what, yeah. that's what we say. Tell everybody. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, let me see. One year average is 517, uh, 90 day is 508, and 30 day is 498. So it has, wow, well, I just can't believe the big difference between the 9.8 and 9.6. I'm surprised there's no 9.8 or 10.0, at least one or two, you know. But Yeah, that is kind of surprising for, a, for a, I mean, you know, it, this is an 80s book, so you're going back into that territory, I think, is you're going to get a lot less 9.9s and, and 10.0s, but it is surprising there isn't one or two of each, like you said. 
Yeah, and then it just keeps on going lower and lower. 9.4 is uh, fair market value is 300. Mm -hmm. uh, one year average. God, man, this, I may buy this book. Now that I'm looking at these prices, you know? Yeah. Uh, one year average is 319. Uh, 90 day is 302 and uh, 30 day is 277 and just keeps on going lower and lower. Uh, 6.0 is only $190. Dang, that that's cheap. Mm -hmm. Do you guys think, I mean, I've been, we all follow comic books and I, when I watch your show and it just amazes me how these prices just keep on dropping and dropping. Do you think it will reach a, a, a floor limit when it will just start bouncing back or do you just think it's just going to be keep on going lower and lower? Mm -hmm. uh, I, space i think we're at i mean we've kind of agreed i think we're at the bottom i, I mean yeah I, I, yeah, yeah, yeah we've we've seen things like kind of like uh just stabilize on like the 30 day um mm -hmm. that kind of matches up with the fmv like there's like sometimes there's a 50 dollar difference and that's how we know it's like stabilized you know like if yeah. there's a big gap like 100 or 150 to 200 dollars like that thing's free falling and it hasn't stopped um but uh on some grades, right? On some grade space, what do you think, bro? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I, I think once you get into, I think that the grades between like eight zero and nine two, maybe even nine four, on a lot of bigger books like like this one, that they've come down so much that they're probably not going to get any lower. But but the the real desirable ones, the nine six, nine eights, and above, those are still going to uh, they'll they'll probably drop a little bit more because people are unwilling to pay that extra couple hundred bucks and they'll hold out for, for something to, to drop a little bit more. So I think you might see movement on those, but those, uh, you know, mid upper, uh, upper range grades there. I think those are kind of at the bottom. Yeah. Like at eight Oh, so you, if you go up from the eight Oh, you know, the FMV is 200 bucks and then the 30 mm -hmm. days, 174, that's stabilized. Then mm -hmm. you see the FMV on the eight, five, two, 10, 194, that's stabilized. Yeah. Nine Oh, uh, two thirty two Oh eight. See if there's a, if there's, more than like a $75 difference or a hundred dollar difference, then that book is still free falling, you know? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. that's kind of how we, that's kind of how we analyze it. And it's, and it's worked out because we looked at books from the past and we're like, okay, they, now we know, you know, like mm -hmm. that book was free falling. It's kind of stopped, you know? So, yeah. And we have repeat offenders a, a lot. And this, this actually wasn't, I was like, Oh, we actually get a new book today. Yeah. And this is a new book to the list for sure. <laughs> yeah. But uh, what do you think? Uh, you want to check it out and see what the, uh, the most recent sales on eBay are? Oh, for sure. Yeah, that's always, I always love seeing eBay sales. Yeah, <laughs> see how much people are actually buying them for, you know. All right, so let's take a look at recent sales on eBay. Uh, one sold on January 14th, a 9.2, and it's a signature series by Todd McFarlane, White Pages, $495. That's still cheap, you know, for mm -hmm. a signature too, you know. So it had 28 bids and- um, That's sales. a nice SIG. You see that SIG on that, that book? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's nice, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. One how they these signatures, I think when they when they have them for signature series, there, it's probably when he's the one he's done at CGC because I know at comic book conventions it's hard to get his signature and get it authenticated by CGC. I don't think he does it at conventions. No, he 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 outlawed it. I think he he yeah, only gets yeah. you see nowadays. You know, so yep. Let me see. If there's any nine point eight here. Uh, so this the next one uh, sold on January fourteenth and eight point eight. I mean eight point oh. White page is one hundred forty-five dollars. Well, that's really, that's really cheap. If people want to buy this book and just to have it, say they have it in their in their collection, now would be a good time to buy them. You know, right? Yeah, yeah. But uh, let me see one here for January thirteenth. Uh, a nine point four uh, first print. Uh, let me see two hundred ninety-nine dollars. I think that was a buy it now price. I don't see any bidding on that one. And uh, the last one sold on Jan and these are all graded ones I'm talking about first. This one sold on January 13th, a uh, 9.2 below $280. Wow, I didn't, I didn't know, I didn't know these books were so cheap. You know? Yeah, yeah, uh, that's a great. Remember, there we go. That's 250. Remember we were calling this one, right? Yeah. You know, so uh, these mm -hmm. 9.2s. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, there yeah. it goes. Now, would you guys, would seeing these prices, how low they were, would you guys take a gamble on buying the non-graded ones and getting it graded, you know, cleaning and pressing and hoping for a high grade? Or would you just want outright just buy a graded one? Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm about buying raws because I want to clean and press it myself, you know, yeah. like that's just me, you know, so. Yeah, if I can get it cheap enough, uh, I'm I'm all about the, the raw as well, at least right now. Um, there's not many books I'm sending in that are, that I want to be graded nowadays for my PC. So I would definitely try to get a raw copy and see what can be done with it for sure. 
Yeah, Plus, you have that. options. You have options. If you want to grade it, you can grade it. If you don't, if you want to keep it and read it, then you can keep it and read it, right? Yeah. It just gives you options. And speaking of non-graded books, let's look at let's take a look at those prices. This one sold on January January 15th. Uh it says your direct edition, first printing, and so for $165 and 44 cents. I'd have to take a when I bid on books that are um, not graded, I ask for extra pictures if needed. I just want to see exactly, hopefully, see what kind of condition this book is in before I buy it. That's one thing I normally do on eBay. I ask for extra pictures. And uh, this next one sold for January on January 14th. It sold for $138. And this one, he says it's it's a near mint plus. I don't know when people say near mint plus. That's just mm, there. Yep. Obviously, they yep. want to grab more people to buy a book, but then this one only sold for $99. You yeah. know, so who knows? That's how you get that's how you get your book return on eBay when you put near mint plus, you know, like yeah. not good. And yeah, the last no. one, yeah. I'm sorry. The last one, you can tell it's beat up. <laughs> Just looking at that cover, mm -hmm. it's uh, so for less than forty-four dollars. And uh, oh, it's a third print variant, though. That's why it sold for so cheap. I gotcha. Okay. Yeah. So I think overall, I'd rather buy a non-graded book, and if I wanted to, I'd clean and press it and send it into CDC mm -hmm. and hope for a high grade. Yeah, I think we're all on that train. Yeah, like it's it's way better, especially if if you wanted to just keep keep the book for yourself and you didn't want to grade it, you know, that it might as well just go for the the second or third print, right? And save yourself some money. If you're just going to, yeah. you know, hold on to it and read it might as well. Yeah. Do you want to stick around for uh, the rest of the show? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll hang out with you guys, man. I'm, not, I'm getting warmed up here talking to you guys. So I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Next book up on the list today is no stranger to this show and no stranger to anyone if you collect comics, especially Spider-Man, right? This is uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 121. Um, with this often, I said it before last time I talked about this book, often hated, but then loved cover. I love this cover now before I hated it. You know, this I is know. We were talking on it, bro. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's like also like Spidey's butt cover, right? Check out Spidey's butt. butt. <laughs> but uh, but now. Now yeah. I like this book, but th this book has dropped again think, to it. What if fluctuated. we added the whole, What if we had the whole? Do you think YouTube would keep it us keep us on? <laughs> Just put a little red dot like <laughs> over <laughs> over where it's at. <laughs> no, we probably they probably wouldn't like that. Yeah, um, right. <laughs> this book is down fifty five spots uh, to number eighty eight from number thirty three. There's a lot of double digits going on there. 88 55, 55 33 55. um yeah it's a, this this one this one took a, a steep nosedive um uh just like you know Gwen Stacy did right. oh, 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 oh what? Too, flooded, bro. Too, too soon too soon oh, i too. mean this book is old man no, <laughs> no that's, that's that's 60 years too soon bro yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> whatever yeah. it is yeah no but uh but obviously it's a classic Classic cover. Every Spidey collector wants uh, ish, a copy of this issue in in their collection. So let's get into um, what CGC and the Census over on Go Collect has to say about this book. All right, over on Go Collect and the CGC Census, we got it says right there. I hinted at it earlier. If you didn't know, this this issue is a key because it is the death of Gwen Stacy. Yeah. Uh, Fall from the Brooklyn Bridge, bro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, Spidey, Spidey tries, but but fails. Um, he does, but he but he fails. He saves her, but he fails. <laughs> um, lots of a few artists on this one. Couple couple legends: John Romita and Gil Kane. Uh, and this came out June tenth, nineteen seventy three, for a whopping twenty cents. Oh, oh, to go back in time and buy fifteen copies of this. Twenty cents. Yeah, dude. Man, are you? F, are, you older, are, are you? I don't. You're you're a seasoned veteran. I'm gonna say it that way. But did you see books at twenty cents when you were uh, younger? I started collecting comic books when they were twenty cents each. Um, yeah. yeah, so it was crazy. You know, I can't believe how much prices. You know, obviously now they were four or five dollars. But yeah, I was around when they were when they were selling for twenty cents each, and um, I remember buying this book. Um, I wish I had bought more of them. But you know, <laughs> I was a kid back then, and I was just reading. I was just buying them to enjoy the reading of them. Yeah, so, yeah. Exactly. I think that's what I think that's how everyone starts, right? They're not usually thinking about uh, any of the the money that can be made in the future. Maybe nowadays they do, but everyone is just like, "Oh yeah, Spider Man's awesome. I'm gonna pick that book up and read it." I mean, I read 
I read New Mutants '98 when it came out probably 20 times, even though it's not that uh, not that good of a read, but I still read it that much. So <laughs> same same thing, right? You just you get them to read them <laughs> and look at the pictures. So uh, on the Universal Census for CGC, there's 6,966 of these graded with 797 signatures and 127 purple labels of doom. Damn. That's yeah, that's that is kind of a lot. It's surprising. Do you guys own this book? Uh, I don't own this book. I don't have it. Not me. No. Do you, you, have, this, you, do you have this book, Efren? Uh, actually, I'm looking it up right now to see if I own it or not. Hang on. I'll get back to you guys. <laughs> I think I do own it, but I'm going to talk to you guys in a couple of minutes here. I'm looking it up. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I, I, I know I have it, and I think it's like a 4.0 or a 3.5 or something hey, like that. Yeah, you got, got it. it. Yeah, I got it super cheap, and I was like, I'm happy with that. That's cool. Um, nine eights. There's only 83 of these on the census, and it is a you know Copper Age book, end of the Silver Age, beginning of the Copper Age. Um, 54 sales, so you can see that this book in that high grade is still moving quite a bit. Bronze FMB. Age, Bronze Age, Bronze, Bronze age. age. That's what I meant. Excuse That's me. That's what he meant. Thank, thank you for the correction. I know the comments mm. are cut. The, the guys in the oh. comments are like. They'll come after you, me. Bro. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's that's fine. That's fine. Let protecting them my me. homie. I'm protecting. Yeah, my homie. I appreciate. I, I appreciate that, man. Everyone's human. We all make mistakes, right? I know. Um, F and B on that bad boy is five thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars, uh, with a one year average of six thousand three hundred and seventy three, and no thirty day. Uh, the ninety day on that is five thousand five hundred and twenty. So you can see that it's dipped, obviously, from the one year. Um, came up a little bit from the ninety day. Uh, nine six. There's 219 on the census, with over half of that being sold with at least within the last year. Uh, FMV is once one seven five zero one thousand seven hundred and fifty dollars on this. So that's a that's a pretty decent FMV not for uh, for yeah exactly yeah it's not not bad at all. Uh, surprisingly, for that high of a grade in this book, your one year is one thousand nine hundred and sixty four, and your ninety day is one thousand six hundred and sixty seven. So it's it's up just like the last one up from the 90 day down from the one year nine fours 403 on the census with 218 sales and your fmv is 1500 dollars. one year is 1320 90 days 1271 and your 30 day is 1440 and like we always like to do with books like this they're fairly substantial and, and bigger keys let's look at the as uh me and hood like to call them the plebe grades yep us, um, plebes. us plebes down here you know that that 7065 range is is mm -hmm. pretty respectable in this book. Your 70, there's uh the FMV's 450 and the the 30 day is 480. So you can see it's it's come down even from the the 30 day there, but for for my money, the 75, the 30 day is 450, the FMV's 450. So I bet you could pick this up for a 75 for probably around 400 bucks. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it seems like seems like the the sweet spot for for this book. F, do you ever do you find out if you own this book or not? I own this book. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. All there right, I own a nine point oh uh, wow. CBC, but it's signed by Stan Lee and John Romita. Oh, double the price. Oh, humble, humble, yeah. humble brag. I know, humble right? <laughs> <laughs> double that F and V. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, you got a 725 FNB. Let's just go ahead and call that 1500 bucks. Yeah. yeah, we we we've seen it, man. The Stanley uh, signatures are like double doubles the price of the books nowadays. Really? You know, so, yeah. yeah, yeah, just yeah. just bumps bumps. Them it, up like, the it bumps it, man. It's like crazy. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Wow. Awesome, F. That's congratulations. That's that's okay. especially for a book you didn't even know you owned. <laughs> yeah, these were signed by uh, Ramita and Stanley back in 2009. Wow, nice, dude. Yeah. Nice. Well, yeah. congrats. That's that's Thanks. fantastic. That's that's great. Let's check out uh let's check out EBA on this one. All right, over on the Electronic Bay, we got on January 14th, we had a 75 sell for just under $450. So, you know, that's kind of around what you're you're thinking. It seemed like a, a tad bit high compared to what the FMV is, but uh that's it's still not too bad for 75. Uh, same day on the 14th, one best offer accepted another seven, five went for just under four fifty, So probably closer to like 420 bucks. I would assume something like that. Uh, a five, five, a couple days prior on the 12th sold for $255 with free shipping. So not too shabby. Free shipping. Uh, there you yeah. go. Free shipping. Dude, I'm telling you, 
every time I put free shipping on any one of my eBay listings, yep. if I put them up on eBay, that book sells five times faster. I don't know what it is. People just love free shipping, man. Especially like in during conventions when you're, you know, selling exclusives, man. You put free shipping, bro. Like you, you beat everybody. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the first one sold, even if it's a couple bucks higher. They're like well, free shipping. All right, <laughs> they, you, they love let's it. Let's go. <laughs> when you uh, when you sell on eBay, do you normally do uh, bidding or just buy it now? No, I I don't do any bidding. I just do buy it now, yeah. and I'm I'm like super competitively priced. I'm yeah. usually a couple dollars lower than, than most people, unless I know it's unless I know it's something that's like this is difficult to find or something like that, and I happen upon it. Otherwise, I'm I'm I just want to sell it, man. I just that's you know I want if somebody wants it, let's get them a, a good price for it. That's my yeah. Theory I'm, on it. I'm a buy it now guy too, man. I I, I don't want to deal with the bids, you know. Like yeah, I just, yeah. Here we go, take it, mm -hmm. you know. So. The last the last uh, auction I ever did, I, I found two copies of Edge of Spider Verse two, and I sold one for buy it now, and I sold one for auction, and the auction one ended up being like fifty dollars less than the buy it now. So I was like, nah, I'm never doing that again. Yeah, but the, very... but when I but when I buy, uh, I usually do bids. Oh yeah. Oh, you're trying yeah, to you're I... you're sniping. I, I put a number up there where I'm gonna, Is that I just you? Put a, no, I, I'm too lazy to snipe, bro. I'm too, uh, I'm I'm too lazy. I'm so I just, blame. I put a number of where I, 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 of how much I'll actually pay for it. And if you bid mm -hmm. over it, you can have it. That's going to yeah, help me. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. That's exactly what I do. If, if I do bid, that's exactly what I do. If it, if it gets away from me, it gets away. There's yeah, another, like, there's an, I, I always say there's enough comics for everyone, man. So yeah. Yeah. You know. uh, one more of those graded copies on the ninth. Uh, 4 0 went for 212.49 with that free that magic free shipping again. So not too bad, just over 200 bucks for a 4 0. Nothing to so that's a pretty good price right there. That's that's uh, for us thieves right there, bro. Yeah, dude. That's I would buy I would buy if if somebody I would was definitely like buy that one. Yeah, if somebody's sure. like, I got a 4 0, you can have it for 200 bucks, I'd be like, that's probably a really good deal. I'm gonna jump on it, you know, even you though I already it. have a copy of it. You you can go to a con and offer someone, you know, one of the vendors two hundred dollars for a four oh with no tax. I'm I'm in, you know. So. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's a that's a that would be a great deal. That's matter of fact, I'm gonna put that on my list. I'm gonna scribble it down as right? soon as we're done here. Yeah. Bucks. Yeah. Four oh, yeah. Yeah, four oh or better, right? And hey, we got WonderCon uh, coming up, man. So yeah. Oh sure. yeah, definitely. That's right. Good, good, good thing you reminded me. Um on January 15th on the raw side of eBay, it looks like they're describing this one as a, you know, fine minus uh, five, five best offer accepted for 350 bucks. They probably got it for around 325, 320. So, you know, it's a I, I, hundred bucks more ish than a, than a four Oh. So that's, that seems pretty adequate. Uh, on the 14th, another one sold probably right around that or a little bit, a little bit worse for the wear in that one. 156.70 off of two bids. Another one on the 14th went for, just over three hundred and fifty dollars, and then one more on the fourteenth went for just under two hundred or just under three hundred dollars at two ninety eight fifty five on forty bids. Man, somebody had a they had a bidding war on that on that bad boy. People was getting some some FOMO, so hopefully it was a, a good looking copy for that that cheap that many bids. But but yeah, as you can see, this book is still moving throughout all the grades that you know whether it's raw or it's it's graded. So it's a good good time i think to pick this book up i'm definitely going to try to but uh you know uh, going back to the comments when we had this last time because this is a repeat offender i think dan de la Torre, he <laughs> talked about this book in one of the comments oh and, you know, yeah Dan's, Dan's always trying to spit the knowledge man mm -hmm. and um you know he said it really made a lot of sense he goes this was like a one of the most important books in all of the Mer amazing spider-man runs because it changed the view of peter parker on the world and his attitude you know yeah yeah you know i was like wow that was deep bro <laughs> I was like, yeah. it, it is, you know, like, uh, you know, he went from, you know, the, you know, his, he, he lost his innocence when this happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know? So yeah, this, I, I would say this one. And then obviously when uncle Ben dies, those are the two, yeah. and you know, those you can, that's a, that's a really good point. You bring that up because, uh, and, and that Dan said that because in between those instances where he has people, major people in his life, you know, either appear or die he's pretty like just a happy go lucky, yeah. you know, kind of wisecracking superhero. Other than, other than those instances, that's all you see him as just kind of a, you know, smiling kind of guy and joking yeah. around. And yeah. so, yeah, it's a good, it, and, and it says it right there on the cover, right? Turning point. That's exactly yeah. what it is. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dan, man, always spin the knowledge, bro. 
Yeah. All right, friends. So the next book up is a book that uh, I really want and I don't have in my collection. So as I always say, like uh, P.O. Box is open at uh, Hood <laughs> headquarters if you got this one. Um, and this is X-Men 94. Um, this is a pivotal point in the uh, X-Men saga because this is like um, the second appearance of the new X-Men. And this is like the start of the 16-year run for Chris Claremont. The mm -hmm. master, sir. We what we call him last time, sir. Sir Chris, Claremont. Sir Claremont. Sir Claremont. Yep. <laughs> sir Claremont. This was published back in uh, August tenth of nineteen seventy five. One of uh, the most uh, another pivotal book. You know, we yep. talked about the last. You know, the last yep. one was a pivotal book as well. This is number thirty nine right now. It dropped fifteen spots. Not a steep, steep drop like uh, no. you know, like uh, ASM one twenty one, but uh, mm -hmm. you know, a steep one. Uh, yeah. This was uh, uh, from twenty four. Uh, from spot 24, dropped 15 spots, number 39. Again, this was written by uh, Chris Claremont. The art was by uh, was uh, by the great uh, Dave Cockrum. Again, second appearance of the new X-Men. Second appearance of uh, Storm, Nightcrawler, Colossus, and uh, John Proudstar, one of my favorites, Thunderbirds. Only lasted mm -hmm. like, uh, you know... Only a couple last issues, a, right? No, no. <laughs> next, it, the next issue. Yeah, the, I went back. I went back and read it. I was like, okay, he died. Just, he yeah. died quick, bro. Like <laughs> just a couple like, issues, man. In and out. <laughs> he's out, man. Yeah. Uh, John Proudstar is gone. And then this is the fourth appearance of uh, Wolverine. And it's the first appearance of Dragonfly. Um, again, published on August tenth, nineteen seventy-five. Very pivotal book um, in uh, comic book history, as it brought on uh, Chris Claremont. And um, Dazzler, you know, five years later or whatever, you know, <laughs> Space's favorite, uh, Space, Space's favorite character, um, and F's favorite character as well, right? F, no, I'm playing with you, <laughs> Dazzler, who, yeah, <laughs> yep. <laughs> but let's check out and see what this book's doing over here on CGC and Go Collect. All right, friends, here we go. Uh, Universals, we have uh, what do we got, 8,570s graded. With 935 signed by Chris Claremont, right on the X Men, like, like as he always does, right scribbles. there. Scribbles, yep, just scribbles you know, all over it. I don't know where Dave Cockrum would sign it. I don't know, but I know <laughs> Father's Place. A couple of them signed out there by him. Uh, maybe Gil Kane as well, right? And Dan yeah. Crispy and all these uh, legends. Maybe mm -hmm. Len Wine as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So um, here we go. So uh, signatures on this are 935 um, um, signed again, restored. Oh, wow, 671 on the purple label, man. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah. Um, 30 qualified. Um, nine eighths on the census. We have 40 um, of these on the mm. census. Only 40 of these. Um, but check this out, man. That was it. How much of that was that Deadpool? The nine eight that we went over it was like 40 grand, right? I think, yeah. Well, I don't know if it was a. The, it was was a nine 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 yeah i think it was a nine eight yeah yeah i thought i was like man is deadpool worth more in this book no 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 <laughs> so uh yeah i think deadpool is like, like around 17 maybe yeah right yeah, something like that yeah something like that yeah so i was thinking about the nine nine i was like no way um so nine eights is 30 37 thousand dollars for on the fmv let's check this out 30 day moving average is thirty two thousand four hundred. so there was a pretty uh you know good yeah. sell that brought this price down because look at the uh, one year average and the uh, 90 day average. Yeah. So, huh? I mean, I'm not a mathematician, man. So I'm thinking like one went for like 28, 27. What probably. Yeah. Probably yeah. sub, probably sub 30 or right at 30. Sub 30. To help, yeah. To, to bring, to bring it down. It down. That far? Yeah. Like five grand. Wow. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, I, would, I would like to see like the two or three year average, see how much higher they were. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, that'll make know. people cry, bro. They, they don't want to yeah. go collect. Don't want to put that up there because <laughs> people are going to have heart attacks. Yeah, yeah. You know, well, you know what is cool with Go Collect is you can click on that. You can expand each one of these little arrows. Yeah, and okay. you can see you can see over like the from when they started grading these books. You can see the averages. You oh, can follow cool. the the trends. So it's kind of that's that's cool. But we don't we don't want to get in there because we don't want to make yeah. we don't want to make ourselves and Go Collect cry. I know if you if you scroll up on you know on this on the page you can see like the little graph too you can see where it spiked and then where it just like fell off the you know gotcha. end of the yeah. earth you know so uh, on the prices from two thousand one um, nine six there's one hundred twenty in the census ninety five hundred bucks not bad you know still no. still doing pretty good but mm -hmm. there's a you know five hundred dollar difference I wouldn't say that's not that for this book that's not that bad it's still kind of hanging no. in there yeah um, nine four is thirty seven hundred dollars 
Um, nothing on a 30 day, but the one year average is 3,481 bucks. 9 2, 449 on census, $2,300. It's the FMV, 2,000 bucks. Kind of it's sticking in there. It's yeah, staying there. It's, it's hanging. Let's go look at the plebes, man. This is where, uh, you know, this is where me and uh, Space Shine, you know, with the plebe. <laughs> so yep. uh, I'm, I'm looking at the um, 6 5, man. Look at the 6 5. 625 on FMV and 410 oh, on the yeah. um, 30 day moving average. There it so, is. Yep. I think you could probably claim one for like, you know, sub fours. A little, yeah. you know, yeah, three eighty. Yeah, Here you go, three eighty. I'll give you this for that six. Uh, three eighty. I mean, yeah. I take a, I take this book for three eighty. You know, at definitely, a, at a definitely, definitely yeah. for my collection, for my mm -hmm. plead collection, man, I'd be happy. <laughs> um, but the question is, does Efren this Past Point Comics has, has? Do you have this book? All right, guys, I bought this book when it first came out. One of my biggest mistakes that I always keep on thinking about when Giant Size X Men first came out. I remember going to a local comic book store in San Francisco and I seen a stack of them. I'm talking about like over like a hundred of them just in a stack. And I just oh. grabbed one and walked out. You know, oh, I, was, I, was man. I was a kid and I was just reading them for the joy of comic books. I didn't know, nobody knew they're going to be that hot, but I remember just grabbing one and walking out. And subsequently when they became a regular series, you know, I, I think it began with 93 or 92 or whatever number it began with, I would just buy one at a time. And I just, I just picked one and left. Nobody knew it was going to be that hot. But yeah. going back to the original question, yes, I have this one. It's the and I bought it back in the 1970s. Uh, but this one's a 3.0. I, I did have it graded, you know, but it came out at 3.0. But obviously, that meant that I read it and I enjoyed sure. it. Sure. Yeah. yeah, you had a lot of love. Yeah, that's that. more important sometimes. Yeah, but, you know, you you got one more copy of this than we do. So yeah, I know. Lucky you. I <laughs> yeah. know, right? So, but I do have it. But looking at that 9.6 price. God, if I bought that book, I'd be so tempted to crack it open again and mm -hmm. clean and press, and hopefully it would come out at 9.8. And if you know, but I know it's a big gamble, but man, I'd be yeah. so tempted if I had a 9.6. Yeah, we're I mean, worst comes to worst, you get a 9.6 again. Hopefully, you just don't want it to dip. Yeah. But, but you know, both look both those books, uh, both this book and, and the book you were talking about, Batman, that difference in price from the 9.6 to the 9.8 is usually about two to two and a half times mm -hmm. That's amazing. what they are this one is substantially more yeah. and the other yeah. one was substantially more. one was like four times the price or something so you know as this is almost two so it's crazy yeah all right folks so here we go with the uh, most recent sales um we have one we have a one kind of high grade on here right um mm -hmm. let's, let's just stick through it man so um on January 14th, a 5.0 went for $379 on eight bids with about $20 shipping. On January 14th, another one. Um, let me see here. 3.0. Is that yours? Was that yours, Efren? <laughs> <laughs> no, I still have mine, so not mine. <laughs> this this 3.0 went for uh, 300 bucks uh, on one bid. Um, and then on J uh, January 13th, here we go with a 9.0. Went for one thousand seven hundred, one thousand one hundred seventy-five dollars. Um, let me see. Let me let me look over here real quick. And that nine zero on um, the FMV on that with GoClick was thirteen fifty. So someone actually got a pretty good deal, right? Yeah, yeah, right around. I think it's right around what the what the thirty day was. So that's good for them. Man. Even a little cheaper. So it's awesome. Yeah, two hundred dollars cheaper, but mm -hmm. that they're still. I mean, it's staying steady. It's not dipping too hard you know it's not yeah. free falling so that's why you know i'm thinking like we hit the bottom you know like there's nothing but the bottom we just left like buyer's market season in december and january and we're moving mm -hmm. on to like you know back to con season so prices mm -hmm. are going to go well back up um that's what i'm kind of saying like if yeah. you you probably missed the bottom you know like uh you mm -hmm. know during that buying season yeah uh january 7th um and 80 went for less than a thousand bucks i'd say 900 dollars, right yeah it's probably pretty fair Mm -hmm. Anywhere books, um, and then here we go with the raws. Um, raws are not looking too bad. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, here we go with minor. Um, a book on January 14th sold with minor restoration. Um, mm -hmm. went for 250. Um, they wanted they got 60% off, so you see that there, <laughs> yeah, going for 725, and they, you know, they sell for 250. Yeah. Then we see a hot bronze comic. Um, this one looks like there's some color loss. I don't know, maybe it's just the photo. Yeah, that was a that was a window book. 
That's yeah, it looked like a, looked a like totally, totally look like a window book. Mm-hmm. Well, that one went, but look at the how many bids were on it. Eighty six. Wow. Uh, when for forty for free shipping. There, if you mm-hmm. put free shipping, you get forty six bids on your book. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> And then on January 10th, um, we have one that went for $350 with $9.99. $9. Um, VG, good copy. And then we have one without a cover, coverless. Book went for $239. Wow. So let me ask you guys, would you have bought that one with minor restoration for $250 or the coverless one? Because they kind of went for the same price. They did go for the same price. I mean, yeah, after, after. Shipping, yeah, shipping, right? I would, I would have bought the restoration one. Personally, I just I I don't see the appeal myself in having a, a cover of this book, unless I'm going to read it. Yeah, me too. I, I mean, the covers the covers like don't kill me in the comments, but the covers about like fifty percent of it. You know, like oh yeah, I'm, I, kill, kill me in the comments. I'm going to say it's seventy five. Yeah, for right? me personally, like, yeah. yeah. I mean, story I mean, story story is great, but I you know you you the reason you buy a comic book for the most part is you look at the cover and you're drawn to it. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm Sorry. saying. Even nowadays with the modern books, you see a good cover, you're like I'll buy that book. You don't even read it. You're just no. like that cover's sick, you know? Yep. So exactly. Yep. How about how about you, F? Are you buying the coverless or the restored? Guys, anytime I see something that has any restoration, I just stay away from it. I know it says minor. I would ask what the minor restoration is and and can it be reversed, hopefully, mm-hmm. you know, the restoration. Um, but at the same time, I wouldn't buy a cover a coverless cover. To me, that has no interest in me. So I don't think I'd buy either one of these, you know. So. Oh, that's good. There you yeah. go. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah. F's, F's an island on this one. I know, right? <laughs> F's, a, F's a free thinker, bro. That's right. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we, last book of the show for today. We saved the best for last. Uh, <laughs> this is Fantastic Four, number 49. If you've never seen this book before, classic, iconic cover right everyone i don't think i've met one person mm. who who looks at that cover and goes eh, i don't like it every single person who sees this is like man that cover's cool <laughs> it has to be one of the top five covers of all time oh I dude think. it's yeah it's so cool looking right that disembodied head of galactus the hands the you know fantastic four running surfer coming that's in it. trying to yeah it's a that's a just such a cool looking cover right Man, Kirby uh, was just ahead of his time, bro. I mean, how many movies were inspired by this cover? Probably. I'm just saying, right? Like, oh yeah, yeah. How many other comics themselves? I think were, you know, probably inspired by this cover too, or like or at least parts of them, right? Like the way Silver Surfer moves, or how big Galactus is, whatever. I, I mean, there's so there's the influence is far reaching. Let's let's say that. It's, that's a, that's a good good way to sum it up, I guess. But uh, I, I love this cover, and if they ever make a Fantastic Four movie. They should have this cover in a scene somehow. I yeah. agree. I think it'd right? be epic. You I know, agree. Galactus under the Silver Surfer just flying by in the Fantastic Four, you know, basically running for their lives. Yeah. I mean, this would yeah. be an epic scene in a movie. I I wholeheartedly agree. You hear that, Hollywood? Yes. F, F, F is telling you how to <laughs> write it. Like, come on, throw it in there. How can you not? Uh, yeah, yeah, dude. It's even if we don't get Galactus or Silver Surfer right away, eventually, right? This that's a that's a, a perfect thought. I like that. That's, that's a good one. Uh, this this book though is down thirty one spots from number sixty to number ninety one, and uh, that kind of kind of bumps me out. But I know that this book never really leaves the the hot one hundred or top one hundred mm-hmm. kind of hemisphere that uh, <clears throat> classic books like this generally tend to reside in. It's always around. People always want this book. It's like, uh, you know, so many others that that are just classic books that people are always looking for. Um, let's see what the, the census says about this book. Okay. Uh, in case you didn't know, this is the first full appearance of Galactus. It says it right there. Uh, this is, the art on this is done by Jack Kirby and Sam Rosen. Uh, Stan the Man was the editor and the scriptwriter on this issue. This came out April 1st, 1966. For a whopping dime and two pennies. Wow. Uh, yeah, right? Like, what a steal. So Universal, great goodness right there, bro. Yeah, dude. Such such goodness. Uh, Universal copies, 5,665. Signature, 270. Uh, purple label of death, as Hood likes to call it, 325 and qualified 87. Here's a good question. Would you take a purple label on this book? 
Not, not right now. Not right now because uh, prices are too good to 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 pass up on just you know a standard um, universal. You know, so I, I agree. I, I that that would have been almost what I would say word for word, uh, unless it was just like a, too good of a deal. You had a per, 90 purple label or something, and it was like you know a thousand dollars. I'd be like, okay, yeah, sure. Um, but yeah, uh, on the census, there's only two nine eights. And those go for a hundred and ten thousand dollars a piece. Oh, oh man! Wow! And they both and they both sold over the course of them being a nine eight. So, uh, but not in the last year. There's no info on that one. Uh, nine six is ten thousand dollars, bro. Right, right. That's you know what? That's like that's like two houses in Missouri. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, certain parts, I should say. Yeah. Uh, not everywhere. Uh, you could probably even get uh, a house maybe in another state for the 9.6 FMD. 9.6, there's 14 on the census, and half of them have sold uh, since they've been graded. But the FMD on a 9.6 is $62,000. So that's that kind of that that kind of that makes that's yeah. that's what it usually about half off. You said you said about a half to you yeah, know, that's that's times. that's that's more par for the course than some of the yeah. other books on the list this week for sure. Uh, there's no no real data on um, anything that's happened with the nine six over this last year too. But there is data uh, on the nine fours. There's 33 nine fours on the census with 11 sales. Your FMB is 17,500. One year average 16,883. 90 days 14,400 uh, and the 30 days 14,400. So you know that's a pretty substantial. Yeah, you could get a nine four if you really had that much bucks right now. You could probably get a nine four for like thirteen grand. I would mm -hmm. say, you know, not not too bad at all. But you know, down in the plebe territory where where we all like to hang out, uh, you know, some of these are 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 decent. Uh, I'm looking at the six five. Uh, the FMV on a six five is twelve fifty, and your thirty day is ten seventy five. So you could probably pick up a six five for under a thousand dollars, maybe even like nine fifty, nine twenty five, or something like that. So that might be the kind of hot ticket as far as uh, grade wise on this one. And then, you know, tying it all back in, let's let's ask F. F, do you have this book? I have two of them. Um, oh, look at that! One of them is graded, and I don't remember which one is which, but I, the graded one is, I, I believe, a four point Okay. And one that's pretty beat up. It's like a 2.0. Yeah. You know. uh, it's two more than I have. <laughs> I know, right? Are you guys going to have me back on this show? Because I have a lot of these books. You guys may say, no, get out of here. No, <laughs> man. You, you Come back. <laughs> come back. We, I like, I, I personally like hearing when people have books. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Because yeah, I know that. Like, no, <laughs> not at all, man. Like you, you want that book. You got it. I'm stoked for you. That's, that's my you. mentality on it. So. Let's uh let's check out uh eBay. What's going on on eBay? Okay, on the graded side of eBay, uh, up on January fifteenth, an eight zero went for best offer accepted uh, of thirty one forty nine or under thirty one forty nine ninety nine. So uh, not not too shabby for a for an eight zero. It's you know I I wish I had that kind of money to to blow on that, but I don't. <laughs> yeah. uh, on the also on the fifteenth, a uh, four point five uh, went for best offer accepted uh, under seven forty five with twenty bucks shipping. Uh, another one with a Stan Lee signature, uh, a seven zero yep. went for two thousand four hundred and seventy five. So, so look at that. Yep, look at that price bump right there. Just just because that Stan Lee signature was on. If it wasn't that, I, I would assume this book would probably be like in the twelve hundred dollar range. Yeah, for a seven zero. It double no, it's deadly six double everything nowadays. It's crazy. Yeah, we see yeah, it. We see it all the time. Yeah. On that one that we're talking about, I wonder what the starting price was that he put like that. I probably put it about two thousand dollars. I would assume. You know, there's only three bids. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I would have done free shipping on that one. So, oh, I definitely would have on that one because yeah. you know you know you you know that book is going to get sold. People are always hunting for Stanley signatures. Yeah. You yep. know so. Uh, yeah. And then right below that on the, the ninth, a 4.5 went for a uh, best offer accepted of under 650 with that glorious free shipping. Um, and then on the raw side, you know, this one on the top right there looks a little worn, but 
the goes to show you still went for under 484 or 485, I should say, best offer accepted. So you're still going to get a decent price for a raw copy of this book if you have one for sale. Mm -hmm. um, also, on the 13th, another raw went for 575. Uh, one more right below that went for 899.95, so just under 900 dollars, um, over 900 dollars all in with the 16 dollars shipping. Uh, looks to be a, a much better looking. Uh, Looks copy nice. That. Yeah, that yeah. one. That one's the nicest looking one on here, I think. They probably then, press it, bro, because I'm looking at the light on that. On his, you mm -hmm. know, there's the lights shine on the head, right? F. If you're a presser, yeah. you know. Yeah. See how flat it is. Yeah, exactly. You don't flat. see it. Like, you don't see anything on there either. Yeah, exactly. And the spine just, looks that, pretty good on that in the, yeah. in the black areas as well. So but that's as good as it's gonna get, guys. Like, yeah. if someone yeah. pressed that, you're not pressing mm -hmm. that or cleaning it any better. It looks that yeah. looks super clean. It looks, it does, it does look pretty nice. Uh, and then on the eight, the last one um, here on our examples here uh, are they, they say it's a four zero to five zero. Went for best offer accepted of uh, <clears throat> under seven fifty. So you know whether it's raw or graded, this book is still moving. It's still desirable, even though it's down towards the bottom of the list. Don't expect mm -hmm. this book to really go anywhere. It'll always stick around. People are always hunting it because it's such an awesome looking cover. It's a blue chip book. The guy in the top of, you know, with the raws said yep. it well. Blue yep. chip. Yep. That's exactly I really, what it is. <clears throat> I really like that 899 book. And mm -hmm. me too. I, I seen, nice. I'd be tempted to buy it, but at the same time, I, I'd be second guessing myself. I'm going, what if it's restored? What if something's wrong with it? If I get it graded, mm -hmm. I'd be so bummed out if something happened to it once I got it graded, saying <laughs> it's touched up. Something's, you know, the paper's been clipped, you know, something that would worry me. But it's a nice I, looking book. It, it it is really nice looking, it, and I agree with you wholeheartedly. And take it from me, take it from space. I've been burned twice with books. I got an ASM one twenty nine and an Avengers eight, and they both came back green labels because they oh, both been, yeah, both both been not modified. So yeah. I have a real hard time books that are this uh, big of a key and have this much kind of significance. If you're spending that kind of money. Look at this book in person, unless it's already graded and you know what you're getting. Look at the book in person. You got to do a page count. You got to make sure nothing's been trimmed. You got to make sure nothing's been cut out. You got to make sure that covers on intact. They're not rusty. You know, you, there's a lot of stuff that, that can go wrong. Just like F is saying, I'd, I'd be worrisome, but don't I get burned ask, like I did. <laughs> I would ask the seller, I'd send him a mm -hmm. message. Hey, how much do you know about your book? Can yeah. you give me some history of it? And just look at his previous sales see if he's at 100 percent, or you know what's going on with them then take a leap of faith so to speak you know yeah yeah and if you know it, they always say like no no returns accepted but we all know if you want to return something to the to the seller on ebay ebay is going to be like yeah you can return it <laughs> so mm -hmm. you know you can get it returned for sure well, all right, friends, that's the show for this week for Co Comics, uh, the show that we collab with Go Collect on to show you what went from hot to not, and you know, you know, yada, yada, yada. But uh, um, we want to say uh, thank you, uh, Passpoint Comics, uh, T.O. Efren, for uh, coming on uh, the show, man. We appreciate it. Yeah, this was a lot of fun, guys. And if nobody's ever watched this this regular segment, this regular show on Hood Rats Comic, this is a great show to watch because it gives you an idea of what to buy. I mean, these comic books are going low. I had no idea. You know, when, once I look at your uh, videos, whenever they come out, I go, geez, I didn't know this book was going low. You know, at that mm -hmm. time, you know, or at this time, how cheap some of these books are. So there are great deals to be made. Yeah, we see them every week, right, uh, Space? Every week, man. I, I'm, I'm flabbergasted, honestly, by some of the books, uh, how low they've gotten. You know, uh, but it just goes to show you if you're paying attention, or even yeah. if you're not, if, even if you're not paying attention, just watch the show. You get an idea of what to what to yeah. buy. Definitely. Yeah, it's like you can't you cannot say you don't you can't believe us because we show you like what's going on with CGC. Then we show you the recent sales, like mm -hmm. the recent sales from that week. So yeah, yeah. and I, you know, like we we said before, right? Space. I don't I don't just pick them, you know, off no. eBay. I just pick them as They're just you know, the re recent ones. It's just the, the recent first four, recent the first sales, four yeah. that sold. Yep. The first recent sales that sell four, I put them on. Exactly. Uh, you know, I don't I don't pick and choose so. Nah. Yeah, it would make my life easier, but <laughs> oh yeah, it does. It's all, it does. It's just the, no. Yeah, it's just yeah. data. It's all data, man. That's yeah. that's right before you. We just offer it up on a nice little platter. 
right? <laughs> yeah. uh, but make sure you follow uh, uh, Passpoint over on his uh, YouTube channel. I'm going to put it down there in the description. <laughs> I'm also going to put him up over there at the end of the credits. You're going to see his, uh, his logo. You can just click on it, him in spaces, and you can follow both of them. Right, follow both of them. Um, but make sure uh, you go check out GoClick as well. Um, mm -hmm. That's our that's our partner in crime here. You can find their um, link at the bottom over here in the description. But most importantly, make sure you follow this show right here. Definitely. You know, the Hood Rap Podcast. Make sure you like and subscribe and all those uh, goodies and uh, good karma will find your way, right? <laughs> that's <laughs> but, right. But if the price is going up or down or left or right, bro, how do we keep it space? We just keep it cool, man. Keep it cool. Just keep it cool. Yeah. 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 Nice. Yeah.